today we're going to talk about our e-laser system and its capabilities of doing three-dimensional measuring of as-built construction sites. Today talking about our real-time link into cabinet vision with this data. So first let me talk a little bit about the laser itself. The system as mentioned is three-dimensional and it's self-leveling. Just use this bubble level here, turn the unit on, and it self-levels for all our data. It also has built-in Wi-Fi, so we don't have to be tethered to our computer for real-time data. We have an untethered link for all our information. So now let's go around and talk a little bit more about our software. What we're showing first on the screen here is our video collection capability. This video is shown through the head of the laser, and we have a crosshair that actually depicts the exact measurement point of that laser. This crosshair can also be dynamically moved because it does have motion capabilities, just pressing the mouse and the system will move to that exact position. Behind that, we also have our CAD software where we can manipulate the data in real time as we collect it. And above that, we have our measure toolbar where we can measure lines, arcs, circles, splines, rectangles, countertops, cabinet features, points, and planes. And now it's time to go measure that kitchen. So now we're gonna go ahead and measure the walls. And we've used the automatic leveling capabilities of the laser to define the floor as our datum plane. So when we go to measure the walls, we'll be able to see exactly how plumb the walls are for our cabinet vision design. Since we've established the floor as our datum, we're gonna go ahead and measure the walls. I'm going to go into my line function in the measuring tool and our system has the capability of doing what we call best fit. This means I can take more than two points for a line and it will actually do a best angle through all of that data. Obviously lots of walls are not plumb or straight and I want to be able to get the best angle possible. So as I'm taking data uh, you'll be able to see that these points are not plumb on the screen. I'm now going to use some CAD functions, so I'm going to go back and turn on my raw data points and using a parallel line, I'm going to define new lines that are parallel to my best fit lines through the high point. So this way when I define my design, I will not be creating a design that's going to intrude into the high point. I'll turn off my data points and now I'll use the CAD trim capability to form my corners and then change my view to an isometric and what I'm going to do is go into a measure function and measure a point on my ceiling which will tell me how high this room is relative to the floor. It's popped up about 95 and a half inches and I'll tell it to extrude all of my geometry and using the computer paste function I'll insert that value and get myself a 3D view. Now I'm ready to define it as a cabinet layout. So I'll come to my layout icon and the first thing I need to do is go into a create. And so it asks how thick the walls are. The default is four inches which I'll take and now I'll select the floor plan lines that define this layout. When I hit enter, it now selects my first wall to allow me to add features. So I'll go up to my measure toolbar and right click for my different feature styles. And the first thing I want to do is a window. And with this function, I can pick two opposite corners of the feature and it will draw it within the space pops up on the screen and now I'm ready to select a different feature type. I'll do the outlet down near the floor. Again, picking two opposite corner points. Now I'll come back to my layout tool and tell it I want to select another wall for activation. And now I'll come back and measure a window on that wall. And I've got one more wall, so I'll come over here and select and activate that wall. Again, right click, and now I've got a door. A door by default is gonna go all the way to the floor, so I just need to pick two points that give me the width and height of the door. And I'll come over here and wanna do my switch. 
So now the last thing I need to do within our software is go to our layout function one more time, tell it I want to export. We're going to do an ORD to Cabinet Vision. I will give it a name. I'll call it Demo. The export is complete. I'll come into Cabinet Vision and tell it we're just going to open a file and pull down to select the ORD file type. It tells me my list. I open it and there, boom, I've got my plan view of the layout. I can also bring that in 3D, rotate that around in space. I can zoom in and out, see my outlet, etc. And I can go to elevations and look at each of the individual walls. So this is an actual cabinet vision file ready to be manipulated, edited, and added to. It's all that easy. So here we have shown you the capabilities of measuring 3D as-built spaces using the eLaser system. From there, we've taken the data into cabinet vision to let you cut it right the first time.